what happened. Hmm. Let her veggies go in. And um, she loves to hop into that basket. Some toys for her to play with. Nice bottle. I love these flat back bottles. They usually do not drip as bad. But if they do, she actually likes to drink the water out of the little... You can always get some sort of little bowl or whatever and put below it because the bunnies will drink out of the bowl. This I had made for the birds. They could have cared less about it. Bun Bun could have cared less about it. But this little girl, she seems to like it. She likes to flip this around. <laughs> and a little blankie. All these things you can get at a garage sale. Oh my goodness. Best brush to use. Um, she is, I believe it was just today, the third, um, where she's exactly three months old. So being an English Angora, they start about three months old where you can just pull the wool and spin it as you pull it. But I've been brushing it so that I keep on top of any mats. Here's a little stool that she can always go under so that she does not slip called old hand towel. Never get rid of your old hand towels. Here's an old um, cat litter box. Loves to chew on it. She will crawl in there, scratch, dig. Gives her a place to hide and play. Yep, got those for the hamsters. They are edible. She likes them better. Such as that and little toys. You're such a good girl. Cinnabon. And I just got done brushing her. Sometimes she's in the mood. Sometimes she's not. Let's see right there. Right there I got some more. And this is just to show you. The first three months And I do believe I weighed it. That is about an ounce. It's going to be a variegated um, white, gray, brown, luxurious, silken type wool. And so I keep it in this bag. Just learning. Probably going to give it to my daughter so that she can do the other half couldn't keep him because she was way too allergic to him. So if you're so allergic that your eyes, you know, shut because of the allergies, you really can't see the bunny to uh, comb it and take care of it. So I get to love and pet her and feed her and the daughter gets to go and learn how to spin wool. And then she will either sell it or I will make some extremely warm hats and scarves. Angora wool, English Angora wool is, I may be wrong here, but I think it is 10 times warmer than sheep's wool. And I'll tell you what, it is a whole lot softer. Sheep's wool can be very itchy. This is like down. If you've ever felt down on a, on a baby duck, oh, it's gorgeous. There she goes. She loves to get up here and she'll binky and she's just so happy. And like I said, her name Cinnabon. It's because Kai named her Cinnabon. Indeed. Yes, it did. So we'll keep it. And she knows her name. And it's the first rabbit that comes when you call her. Of course, she's not going to do it now, but if I would go. Cinnabon! She comes right to me. So hopefully she will keep this very, very sweet nature. I know this is making her so happy. This is a 30 by 30 cage. My husband put uh, some wood because she loved going underneath it. And right now we've got a 30 by 36 drop pan because they were all out of the 30 by 30, but that's going to change this weekend. A 30 by 30 pan would go in there. 
These logs are good for them to chew on, keep their teeth down. Timothy hay, orchard grass hay. Food for a wool producing bunny for the Angoras should be at least 18% protein. That's just a little mat so that it's you know nicer for her to lay on. And I'm so proud of her. She pees there and does most of her pooing. If she pees anywhere else, it's in that corner, but that's when I just pull this out and roll up the paper. I'm all for easy cleanup. You know, if it's a pain in the butt, takes a long time to clean up, guess what? You just don't feel like doing it. Here's a ball. Mostly all rabbits love to take a little blanket and for some reason do that and get it underneath them. She's been chewing on that log. A couple more pine cones. And this came off of a citrus tree. You know what? They sell this stuff in pet stores. Save yourself some money if you have a citrus tree. You know, just a couple of branches. They love it, tastes good, cannot harm them. They also like hibiscus flowers. They like marigolds. I give her treats at night, just a little bit of romaine lettuce, parsley, apples, carrots, very little. Otherwise, as long as she's got, you know, most of the day, this door stays open if I'm home and she has the run because, you know, of all this big area. If not, that keeps her in. And this is called a pet lodge. 30 by 30. They come in 24 by 24 and 30 by 36. The wooden ones are really cool, but these were cheaper and they'll do just as well. Plus, I've always got to make something a little bit different, which is making it spoiling my pets with lots of not just love and care, but making sure that they're happy. Um, I also get this stuff that I put in the litter box. Equine pine. Pine pellet horse bedding. And it is safe for them. Um, it breaks down. That's just some leftovers that she has peed or pooped in it. But it breaks down and it hides the smell and you can just if she pees on it, it breaks it down you can get rid of it nice and easy I have the papers here I picked up some laxatone for cats because it takes care of hairballs I was looking for papaya tablets but could not find any this is a good thing to have it's it'll say slicker comb for sensitive skins because rabbits have very sensitive skins and for those you know really hard to get out mats I don't like the pointed scissors because in my experience, you never know when a rabbit's just going to flip out. And that's also a small tooth comb, along with that brush that I showed you earlier. Keep the brush and everything handy here. But uh, she ought to be a good wool producer, seeing as how I've already got an ounce out of her. And she's only three months. They usually produce wool um, every three months. See, I do a dumb thing. I step over it when I should uh, open it up. Cinnabon. I cut, this was all long, so I cut that and I cut it on the sides of her face because she was getting all of her food in it. Just easier to take care of. I don't think you do much with that wool anyway. The, the best wool is on top, the sides, and I do believe the underbelly. And she's just got to be the happiest bunny in the world. Because she's just not stuck outside in a pen, being fed and everything else. You know, just somebody comes and gets her and pulls the wool off of her and puts her back in the pen. During really nice days, sunny days. We also have an outdoor pen that I'm sure you've seen in my other videos made out of these grids 
but we have a top on it because um, I don't trust the hawks and things around here. But it keeps her safe and she's able to eat the fresh grass. So on that note, this is another, shall I say, foster Angora rabbit that I am fostering so that my daughter can um, harvest some wool and learn how to spin some wool and we'll keep you updated on that. So signing off for tonight at Cinnabon.